hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to see the how to configure the BME NOP 0300 module in the unity pro application BME NOP is the communication module which is used to enable the IEC 61850 uh, compliant data exchange what is IEC 61850 because IEC 61850 is defined for the communication protocol for intelligent electronic devices at electrical substations and its architecture of electrical power systems. Okay, now we will go to our uh, BME and OP module. What is the future of that? Because this it has many futures such as MMS message for servers or client and also Modbus TCP messaging. RSTP supports, IP forwarding, etc. The main function is MMS messaging for server and client. Before opening to the Unity Pro, first you have to download the IEC 61850 configuration tool in the Schneider website. If you go to the Schneider website and uh, type IEC 61850 configuration tool, you can find the configuration tool. It will it is around 850 MB. Okay, first you need to try to download this application because there is some installation installer file. Okay. Once you start downloaded, it will take a little bit time to download. Once you complete the download, just to open the file, it is extra. There is some splitted files. You need to extract the file and try to install the file. Once you install this IAC configuration tool, then only it will be visible in the Unity Pro. So, first step you have to install this unit IAC 61850 configuration tool. Now I am installing this one, it is asking next. It will take a little bit time to install this uh, configuration tool because this is very important task because this will be configured the complete intelligent electronic device in the electrical systems. Now I open the Unity Pro. Open your last application which we make demonstrated at the previous exercise. So I open this application and see here I will double click this uh, overview configurations. here we already designed before for NOC and uh, other things now, now I will remove the NOC module instead of that one I will add now BM, BMX or you can use BME NOP 0300 okay see uh, at earlier stage when you configured it will not showing any display no? because you are you already added so you need to type some module name here Okay, just type any name, module name, just I will give the same name and I will try to save, See, just validate this application, see it is visible now. If you not install that software, it will you cannot open this uh, 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 configuration tool for IEC 61850, double click that one, it will open, it will initialize the application, see it is launching now as a new configuration. Initially you need to create or you can open the application. I am creating now. Just I am giving editor, edit and it just give any name for this notion. And see this is the overview. Here you have module information and goes publish. See if you go for module information you can see IP settings. This is the general one. And you can give the RSTP, SMTP, security switch, everything. Okay this is the general overview. For, and if you go in general, you have second one who's published and third one you can find I.O. mapping. If you have something I.O. mapping, you can add directly here. And you can configure the server client configuration here. See, you can find all the system data as default. Now we are going to check the server function. Now enable the server function and double click. And it is asking to create. So I am just giving here to create a new IED server. Click OK. 
and it will give then you can give you just give some description here just i will give test and add give ok see it, it is importing that one see it's open this file here we have data model application that is data sets and uh, report control goose uh, control and external reference from here see you have this basic ip address everything double click the data model and you can see here the basic uh, application okay if you click one by one you can see there is some function enabled for, because this application you can use for i told you already analytic substations it's everything is configured already so what you will do just add one additional here for new parameter right click and add and you can see here also in the see the same parameters and you can see here add extension logic node also you can add and also from here right side you can find the numbers no? letters you can select which letter it, and you can find lot of because you have lot of parameters here so which parameter you need you can drag and drop inside the logical nodes see it's all already predefined for this uh, in this module it's already predefined all the functions so you just uh, select any one of them and drag and drop see it's uh, it's now i'm selecting mmdr and i'm giving some name and i will give see it's added already so what are the f functions you need from the electrical systems now you can take everything here and just close that one and I will just save this application now. Again, I am opening and I am seeing the data here. See vendor, if all the details from the one parameter. See if you see the right side, you can see like uh, configuration parameters, and also you can see here uh, there is lot of parameters in each one. Each one. So, uh, you, if you if you have more uh, clarify, if you need more things about the parameters, you can check in the help help file also, and you can find here. See all the parameters. Just I'm closing now. Before that, I will save, and it is asking to save. Once I saved. Just we configured some some basic setups. Okay, once I save, just I will go to the memory mapping. In the here I I I O memory mapping also. You can make the sizing here, input and output sizes, and also you can add some I O mapping here. See here, so double click that one, and you can see here right side, in the server client. Even you uh, you can see here add functions. Even you can add the memory mapping here itself for the node just drag and drop the see all the memory mapping what you have here just click and add drag and drop in the center okay and you can see see the BH health and module so we added these three and I'm saving now So I'm just uh, after I saved, I'm just closing this uh, configuration tool. Once it's sa saved, it will be. See, you need to update the application here. Okay. Once you update, it will be updated in your Unity Pro application directly, and it will be create the new block. You can find this new block in the derived data types automatically. See here. So what I will do now, I will I will close this uh, hardware catalog and I will drag this bra project browser a little bit big. So you can see, see here, it's already added. No, not from the DFP, you need to check in the derived data types. There is some BME and OP0300 module underscore control. It's already created. But once I save this application, 
when I compile this say, application, uh, I am getting some error for When I'm saving this application, see now I'm compiling and analyzing, I'm getting some error. I'm checking exactly what is that exact error. See here you can see that you need to activate the data dictionary in general settings. This is the error. See if you see here the, all the Ethernet IP address and this configuration everything is okay. So. The, this this means you need to configure these general settings now in your tools you need to change you need to activate that uh, data dictionary enable okay before that just i'm opening again the application to verify everything is okay or not See, I will make a validate pass here and I will save again. This uh, like I uh, just I am confirming everything should be saved properly, therefore only. Even here you can see there is two functions, server functions and client functions. Even if you need, you can use both of the functions also, server and client settings. In that uh, upside, you can even uh, import your project files and you can import directly here. If you have that uh, existing file for that configuration tool, you can import directly. So just I will close now and uh, I'll save again. Once it's saved, I will close. The, uh, the configurator tool see, even if you not saved once you close it will it will ask you to save so it is saved i will update again the application Once I save this application, you can you can find uh, see the derived types everything it looks okay, and you can add the functions of the derived in the derived more function also as array of that function what you use inside the IAC configurator it should it will create automatically here, and if you see in the Ethernet. Uh, network you you can see this bme noc scanner control it's already added also okay with the, this is with the distributed io and now i'm just uh, just compiling again to check any other errors because uh, you have already one error to activate this data dictionary na, in the general settings so i will go to the project settings here you can find here see here uh, you will see one by one i will explain you here this is a see this is the overview of the general settings and here you are you have many functions here you need to see if you need to make some settings you can change here see if you go for if you come here plc embedded data here data dictionary is available you need to enable that function once it's enabled see now uh, once i compile i am finding some other error this is not related to that 
but before that it is still in that to launch your configuration tool and update your application because uh, now you change the project setting now after you change that project setting you have to again launch the configurator and update your application So this one, once you configured everything in this, uh, you know, in the data types, I/O mappings, and I like IECs, uh, server functions and client functions. After that, this functions everything it will come in your derived data types automatically as a array or a complete function blocks. Now I just. Uh, save this application see now update application it's already activated so I will recompile again once it's recompiled I am just checking what is the exact error because this error is not related to this configuration tool because this error is related to the pump auto see here so I am just checking what is error see here I am using M580 but I am using percentage M12 so I am removing this uh, address I am again I am saving and uh, checking that I will compile this uh, complete application again I hope this time there will be no error because this error related to the old uh, topological type is incompatible therefore it's came before because in M580 the addressing format is totally different so you need to follow the help file or you need to check because M340 and M580 it is totally different see here it looks everything okay now see in the Just I'm showing you how to configure this uh, data dictionary. Just I will save now. Just I'm showing you again and again. This data dictionary is very important. And after you make the data dictionary, you need to uh, open, relaunch your application and update. See, you need to, uh, whenever you are making these changes, you have to relaunch your application and you need to update. This is the only one time you need to make, but make sure how to make the setting of that one. See now, after I compile now, there is nothing, there is no error. This means this function is ready to execute in your Unity Pro application. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. We will see on next video soon about the another uh, communication module configurations thank you for watching this video thank you